Hi there, I'm going to show you how to install Actions in PSE 10. This process is the same if you have elements 6, 7, 8, 9, or 10, but the example is going to be used with elements 10, but again, it's the same steps. So I have elements open here. You want to make sure you are um, working in the full edit mode, and what I mean by that is that this tab under edit, there's the choices quick or guided, okay, quick or guided. You don't want those, you want to be in the full, okay, that's where you want. We are going to um, install actions that show up in our photo effects folder and in this drop down menu. You're going to want to install them while Elements is off and then you restart your Elements, but I wanted to show you where we are going to be looking when we are all done. Okay, they're going to show up right here in a menu and we're going to click on that and the actions will show up. So what I'm going to do is open up my Windows Explorer, or if you have a Mac, Mac Finder. The file path is in the installation guide, so it's a little bit different for a PC versus a Mac. The other video I made for Elements install, um, Action Install was on a Mac, so this one is going to be on a PC. But, but again, the steps, the file path is in the guide. Okay, so I have downloaded the Action Set, and when I download things, it goes to my Downloads folder, and then I, this time I moved it to my desktop so I could find it easily. And your browser may unzip your actions for you already, or not the actions, but the zip file. Or if it comes zipped, you're going to want to unzip it. How you unzip, let's see if I have a zipped file on here. There we go. I would right click on it and choose Extract All to extract it, and then it would um, create a whole new folder that was open. Here, this one is already open. Okay. I'm going to click on the folder for PSE 6 through 10 actions. And then I'm going to just select all of them. And there's different ways that you can choose to do that, but I'm just going to go up to Edit and Select All. Then I'm going to go Edit, Copy. So I've copied all of them. Now, I am going to paste them into a special location. And before you do that, the very first time you load Actions, you're going to need to change a little setting. Okay, on a PC. Mac users, you don't need to do this. But on PC, you're going to want to go to View, and oh, let's see, Tools, Tools, and Folder Options, okay? And you want to make sure that we go to View, the View tab, and in the middle here, under the Advanced Settings, see where it says Hidden Files and Folders? Yours is probably going to be checked to say Don't Show Hidden Files, Folders, or Drives, and we do want to see those hidden file folders. So click on Show Hidden Files, Folders, or Drives, and hit Apply, and, and then hit OK. So once you've done that, you'll be able to find your file path better. So on a PC, you double-click on Local Disk, C, the C drive, and Program Data. I'm in, Element, I'm in, I'm in uh, Windows um, 7. It's the same for um, Windows Vista. It's different for XP, but... XP so far back we we're don't we have some and we're not going to do it on a video but um, and on Windows 8 if you you can get back to where you have a very similar path as this okay so once you go to program data then you are going to go to Adobe and I'm just double clicking on them and then Photoshop Elements and then the version that you're that you have so here I'm gonna do 10 and then Photo Creations and then photo effects. You have to go into it and then paste them. Edit and paste. Okay, so they're all there. Now, my elements is open right now and that's okay. I can shut it down and restart it, which I'm going to do right now. Okay, no. Nope. All right. And so that's shut down. And now I want to um, come back up here. See this file path? I'm going to come up to 10. And I'm going to go down, and I'm just going to go ahead, because it's a good number of actions we're loading, and I want to make sure just give it a clean slate. So I'm going to delete this thumb database, and then double-click into Locale, double-click into ENUS, click on this media database.db3 file, and hit Delete. Delete it. Don't rename it. Okay? And then we're going to restart the elements. Okay. 
and I'm going to pause the video while this does it. Um, it's going to show rebuilding content, and it's a little spinny wheel, and it's going to or building content and effects, and it's going to take it a few minutes. And but I'm going to pause and come back when it's finished. Okay, we're back, and they have loaded in. It, you need to give your elements time to work. So when you do that, you delete those things and you restart your elements and it tells you building content and effects. Uh, walk away. Give it 10, 20 minutes. Some uh, computers take longer and some do it faster. But give it time. Don't try and use your elements during that time. You will interfere with it and have to start all over by deleting those little files we just did. So give it time. and. And they'll come back and then they'll they'll be there. And how you find it, okay, we will need to be on the effects tab. And see it's kind of blinking at me. See my mouse doing that, and that's normal. It's just building all those those uh, that content again, and that's okay. You have the filters, which are three little circles, and we have uh, two rectangles together, and those are our um, styles, and then we have our effects, and then this is everything together. Okay, so if we click on show all there and we can scroll down, we'll see, eventually see the actions down here. There they are. But this is your photo effects folder um, window. And before, when we just saw something like that and or these other things, you just click on whatever's right there and then it'll be an option. Okay. And we can scroll down and see they're all here. Don't, don't worry about the mouse blinking like that. It's just because it's thinking. It's just thinking. So if yours does that, it's normal too. And how you use an action in here is just like you, um, it was too licorice. You just double click on it. Okay, just double click. It's going to work through it. There we go. This is a particular action that has some extra little choices that you can add on like that. I'm going to delete all that. Oops. Come on. Oops, because they're not up. If I turn them on. There we go. I shouldn't have had to do that, but. And, and it's just that simple. In Elements, uh, we can't normally, we don't normally have the option to ungroup. But uh, these actions are all in groups. So if you see that and you say, well, I want to get access to those layers, there is an ungrouping action down here at the bottom. So just ungroup it and then all of a sudden there they are. Okay. And there are some beautiful, beautiful actions plus some little extra ones to help um, do things that you might need like this action extras here. Just some other stuff, brighten, warm, things like that. Uh, the steps that we took in this video are the same steps that you would take for any action set. So if you are fo following these steps and it was for a different set, don't be alarmed that this says Lux Velvet Matte. Th that the steps are exactly the same for installing any actions into elements 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. I hope you enjoy and let us know if you have any trouble.